A patient has a new prescription for the transdermal form of scopolamine. The nurse knows that this form of scopolamine is used for which condition? A. Angina B. Chronic pain C. Hypertension D. Motion sickness. Answer. D. Motion sickness rationale. Terancerdermal scopolamine, terancerderm scop, is a patch that can be applied just behind the ear four to five hours before travel for the prevention of motion sickness. The other options are incorrect. The nurse is reviewing the indications for atropine sulfate. Atropine is appropriate for which of these patients? Select all that apply. A. A patient who has suddenly developed symptomatic bradycardia with a heart rate of 32 beats per minute B. A patient who has suddenly developed symptomatic tachycardia with a heart rate of 180 beats per minute C. A patient with severe narrow angle glaucoma D. A patient who is about to have surgery E. A patient newly diagnosed with myasthenia gravis F. A patient with anticholinesterase inhibitor poisoning. Answer. A. A patient who has suddenly developed symptomatic bradycardia with a heart rate of 32 beats per minute D. A patient who is about to have surgery E. A patient newly diagnosed with myasthenia gravis F. A patient with anticholinesterase inhibitor poisoning rationale. Anticholinergic drugs are used for symptomatic bradycardia and certain other cardiac conditions. It is given preoperatively to control secretions during surgery and is used as an antidote for anticholinesterase inhibitor poisoning. The other options are contraindications to the use of atropine. In preparation for eye surgery, the nurse monitors for which desired drug effect in a patient who is receiving a cholinergic blocking eyedrop medication. A. Meiosis B. Mydriasis C. Increased intraocular fluid production D. Enhanced tear production. Answer. B. Mydriasis rationale. Cholinergic blocking eye drops cause dilation of the pupil, mydriasis, and paralysis of the ocular lens, cycloplegia, both of which are important for eye surgery. The other options are incorrect. The nurse working in a preoperative admitting unit administers an anticholinergic medication to a patient before surgery. What is the purpose of this drug in the preoperative setting? A. Control the heart rate B. Relax the patient's C. Reduce urinary frequency D. Reduce oral and gastrointestinal secretions. Answer. D. Reduce oral and gastrointestinal secretions rationale. Anticholinergic drugs are given preoperatively to control oral and gastrointestinal secretions during surgery. The other options are incorrect. The patient has been taking tolteridine, detril, but today her prescriber changed her to a newer drug, darafenacin, anablex. What advantage does darafenacin have over the tolteridine? A. The newer cholinergic blocker drugs are more effective. B. It helps reduce urinary retention. C. It can be used in patients with narrow angle glaucoma. D. The incidence of dry mouth is much lower with darafenacin. Answer. D. The incidence of dry mouth is much lower with darafenacin. Rationale. The incidence of dry mouth is much lower with use of the newer cholinergic blocker drugs, such as darafenacin. Because the actions of these drugs are more specific for the bladder as opposed to the salivary glands. These drugs are contraindicated if narrow angle glaucoma or urinary retention is present. The newer cholinergic blocker drugs are not necessarily more effective. The nurse will monitor for which adverse effect when administering an anticholinergic drug. A. Excessive urination B. Diaphoresis C. Dry mouth B. Pupillary constriction.
Answer. C. Dry mouth rationale. Anticholinergic drugs commonly cause the adverse effects of dry mouth, blurred vision, constipation, and urinary retention. They also cause mydriasis, pupillary dilation. The nurse is reviewing a patient's medication history and notes that the patient is taking the cholinergic blocker tolteridine, detrol, which is an indication for this medication. A. Irritable bowel disease B. Induction of mydriasis C. Urge incontinence D. Reduction of secretions preoperatively. Answer. C. Urge incontinence rationale. Tolteridine, detrol, is used for urinary frequency, urgency, and urge incontinence caused by bladder, detrusor, overactivity. The conditions in the other options are not indications. A 72-year-old man has a new prescription for an anticholinergic drug. He is an active man and enjoys outdoor activities such as golfing and doing his own yard work. What will the nurse emphasize to him during the teaching session about his drug therapy? A. Drowsiness may interfere with his outdoor activities. B. Increased salivation may occur during exercise and outside activities. C. Fluid volume deficits may occur as a result of an increased incidence of diarrhea. D. He will need to take measures to reduce the occurrence of heat stroke during his activities. Answer. D. He will need to take measures to reduce the occurrence of heat stroke during his activities. Rationale. Elderly patients who take an anticholinergic drug need to be reminded that they are at a greater risk for suffering heat stroke because of decreased sweating and loss of normal heat regulating. Mechanisms. A patient has received an accidental overdose of intravenous atropine. Which drug will the nurse prepare to administer? A. Atenolol, Tenermin, B. Bethanacol, Uricoline, C. Dicyclamine, Bentol, D. Physostigmine, Antilirium. Answer. D. Physostigmine, antilirium, rationale. Physostigmine salicylate is the antidote to an atropine overdose in patients who show extreme delirium or agitation and could inflict injury to themselves. Its routine use as an antidote for cholinergic blocker overdose is controversial, however. The other options are incorrect choices. The nurse is reviewing the use of anticholinergic drugs. Anticholinergic drugs block the effects of which nervous system? A. Central nervous system B. Somatic nervous system C. Sympathetic nervous system D. Parasympathetic nervous system. Answer. D. Parasympathetic nervous system rationale. Anticholinergic drugs block or inhibit the actions of acetylcholine in the parasympathetic nervous system. The other options are incorrect. A patient has a prescription for oxybutynin, ditropan, an anticholinergic drug. When reviewing the patient's medical history, which condition, if present, would be considered a contraindication to therapy with this drug? A. Diarrhea B. Hypertension C. Neurogenic bladder D. Uncontrolled angle closure glaucoma. Answer. D. Uncontrolled angle closure glaucoma rationale. Contraindications include drug allergy, urinary or gastric retention, and uncontrolled angle closure glaucoma. Neurogenic bladder is an indication for oxybutynin. The other options are incorrect. The nurse is about to administer a stat dose of intravenous atropine sulfate to a patient who is experiencing a symptomatic cardiac dysrhythmia. During administration of this drug, the nurse will monitor the patient closely for which adverse effect. A. Tachycardia B. Bradycardia C. Ectopic beats D. Cardiac standstill.
Answer. A. Tachycardia rationale. Cardiovascular effects of cholinergic blockers include increased heart rate and dysrhythmias. One indication for use is the treatment of sinus bradycardia accompanied by hemodynamic compromise. The other options are incorrect. How long can a scopolamine patch prevent motion sickness? A. 1 day B, 2 days C, 3 days D, 4 days. Answer. C. 3 days rationale. A scopolamine patch can prevent motion sickness for three days. Which of the following conditions is appropriate for treatment with a cholinergic blocking drug? A. Glaucoma B. Myasthenia gravis C. Irritable bowel disease D. Genitorinary obstruction Answer. C. Irritable bowel disease rationale. Cholinergic blocking drugs may be used to treat irritable bowel disease. Glaucoma, myasthenia gravis, and genitourinary obstruction are contraindications to the use of these drugs. When assessing for adverse effects of cholinergic blocking drug therapy, the nurse would expect to find that the patient complains of which drug effect? A. Diaphoresis B. Dry mouth C. Diarrhea D. Urinary frequency. Answer. B. Dry mouth rationale. The given example presents a patient who is being administered with cholinergic blocking drugs. These drugs are known to produce certain adverse effects such as dry mouth and not symptoms such as diaphoresis. Thus, the option A is incorrect. Diarrhea is also not an adverse side effect of cholinergic blocking drug therapy. Thus, the option C is incorrect. Cholinergic blocking drug therapy is also not contraindicated for benign prostatic hyperplasia. Thus, the option D is incorrect. Cholinergic blocking drug therapy is contraindicated when patients are affected with certain conditions such as peptic ulcer disease. Also, this therapy can induce adverse effects such as dry mouth. The nurse is giving a cholinergic blocking drug therapy and will assess the patient for which contraindications to these drugs. A. Chronic bronchitis B. Peptic ulcer disease C. Irritable bowel syndrome D. Benign prostatic hyperplasia. Answer. D. Benign prostatic hyperplasia rationale. The given example presents a patient who is being administered with cholinergic blocking drugs. These drugs are not contraindicated for chronic bronchitis. Thus, the option A is incorrect. Peptic ulcer disease also is not one of contraindications for therapy with cholinergic blocking drugs. Thus, the option B is incorrect. Cholinergic blocking drug therapy is also not contraindicated for irritable bowel syndrome. Thus, the option C is incorrect. Cholinergic blocking drug therapy can induce serious side effects when patients are affected with certain conditions. One such condition where this drug therapy is contraindicated is benign prostatic hyperplasia. The nurse is providing education about cholinergic blocking drug therapy to an older adult patient. Which is an important point to emphasize for this patient? A. Avoid exposure to high temperatures. B. Limit liquid intake to avoid fluid overload. C. Begin an exercise program to avoid adverse effects. D. Stop the medication if excessive mouth dryness occurs. Answer. A. Avoid exposure to high temperatures rationale. The given example presents a patient who is being educated upon cholinergic blocking drug therapy. This therapy is not affected significantly by fluid overload and hence, the patients need not be specifically advised to limit intake of fluid. Thus, the option B is incorrect. Normally, 
Cholinergic blocking drug therapy does not produce adverse effects which can be reduced by following a regular exercise program. Thus, the option C is incorrect. Though mild adverse effects such as dryness of mouth occur during cholinergic blocking drug therapy, these symptoms should not be the reasons to stop the therapy upon their onset. Thus, the option D is incorrect. Cholinergic blocking drug therapy can induce serious side effects when patients are exposed to high temperatures. Hence, the appropriate patient teaching would include advising them not to expose themselves to high temperatures. The nurse is assessing a patient who has a prescription for dicyclamine, bentol. Which condition is considered a contraindication to this medication? A. GI adenine B. Irritable bowel syndrome C. Overactive bladder D. Diabetes mellitus. Answer. A. GI adenine. A patient has been given a prescription for transwordermal scopolamine patches, teransoderm scop, for motion sickness for use during a vacation cruise. The nurse will include which instructions? Select all that apply A. Apply the patch as soon as you board the ship. B. Apply the patch 3 to 4 hours before boarding the ship. C. The patch needs to be placed on a non-dairy area just upper chest or upper arm. D. The patch needs to be placed on a non-dairy area just behind your ear. E. Change the patch every 3 days. F. Rotate the application sites. Answer. B. Apply the patch 3 to 4 hours before boarding the ship. D. The patch needs to be placed on a non-dairy area just behind your ear. E. Change the patch every 3 days. F. Rotate the application sites. Assessment of a patient about to receive a cholinergic blocking drug. The nurse will determine whether the patient is taking any drugs that may potentially interact with the anticholinergic, including a. opioids, such as morphine sulfate, b. antibiotics, such as penicillin, c. tricyclic antidepressants, such as amitriptyline, d. anticonvulsants, such as phenobarbital. Answer. C. Tricyclic antidepressants, such as amitriptyline. The nurse administering a cholinergic blocking drug to a patient who is experiencing drug-induced extrapyramidal effects would assess for which therapeutic effect. A. Decreased muscle rigidity and tremors B. Increased heart rate C. Decreased bronchial secretions D. Decreased GI motility and peristalsis. Answer. A. Decreased muscle rigidity and tremors.